Hello, intercommunity. I'm Dr. Sharon Canadine. I speak to you today as the general director of this amazing institution, Colegio Interamericano. At the same time, I am here representing my team of staff, teachers, administrators, and the board of directors, many of whom, like me, are interparents. The pandemic has taken a toll on our families and our children. It is not easy to explain to children that they can't socialize, have sleepovers, go to parties with their friends and classmates. But this is the position we are in, and we are responsible for making the right decisions. We have to explain that this is not forever, but it is our current reality. We're in a pandemic that we never experienced the likes of when we were children. We had the freedoms they won't have at this age, but it's not forever. We must help them understand. Sometimes the right decisions are not always easy. The leadership team representing our community has 1,440 children and 920 families to think about and know that we need to do what is responsible. We listen to the news and watch the data soar in Guatemala. In our community alone, each day we have new cases in the school. Pre-kinder, kinder, grade one, grade two, grades five, six, eight, and high school collectively. COVID-19 positive students, staff and teachers. We have written obituaries on our Facebook page of interpeople we have lost, parents, grandparents, relatives, teachers, and friends. Gone are the days where we can say this won't happen to us. It has happened to us. These cases don't stand alone. With each positive result, there are families impacted with children in different grades and elders in the home. The time is now to make a difficult decision to control the loss and sickness. We are so proud of our community of students who have faced the closing of sections alongside their collective disappointment, the acceptance of quarantine with the maturity beyond their age. Our students get it. Thank you for raising these compassionate human beings. At the moment, given our school's current situation with cases in all areas of the school and to safeguard the community and prevent the spread to our students, teachers, family, and community, Starting on Monday, August 23rd, we will move into virtual mode of learning. We will remain in the virtual mode for at least two weeks, reassessing and reporting to the community for the option to return to campus on September 6th. You have come to enter because of our shared values. We value you and made this decision for the interfamily. Please make the tough decision along with us to protect the community. Follow the protocols that are known to keep everyone safe. We all know what they are. Please do your part. You are our first line of defense. We are closing the campus to students on Monday. The campus will remain closed, but school will remain open virtually. We will prepare these students in the next few days for the transition and weeks ahead. We've got this, Enter. All in, all enter.